Hey Leo, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading. Happy Friday to you guys. So we're going to see what messages come out. Um, this could be someone that you're dealing with, connected to, energetically perhaps, right Leo? Uh, this could be a love-based romantic connection. It could be someone you're dating. It could be a business partnership, family, friends, okay? So let's jump right in. Leo, if this reading resonates, like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you want a personal tower reading, all the information is in the description box. Take a look. All right, Leo, let's see. What messages do we have for my Leos out there? Clear messages for Leos. We're going to start off with the challenge you guys could be facing regarding love. All right. So, Leo, we have the Six of Swords and a Five of Swords. So, it definitely looks like you're moving away from some kind of conflict in your life. Maybe there was some kind of um, challenge you were faced with regarding a connection. The Five of Swords could be fighting, feeling defeated. It feels like maybe this is someone that you've been doing a lot of thinking about, overthinking. It even feels like maybe you guys uh, kind of turned your back on each other. Um, the Five of Swords and the Six of Swords, there is an energy where deep down you both really want to make amends. You both want to have peace in your life, especially with regard to this connection. So even though you guys are not maybe in a good place, it does feel like the focus is trying to move away from some kind of um, falling out or conflict or argument, okay? This could be with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Chris. In the recent past, Leo, we have the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Three of Swords and a Knight of Cups. So definitely was a love offer in the past it feels like someone here may have opened up their heart to someone so i feel like there was definitely some kind of emotions involved here with the knight of cups and the three of swords i feel like someone here was really hurt on an emotional love it caused a lot of emotional pain this could have been a betrayal this could have been some kind of third party situation um if not it may have felt like whoever this person leo was or is it it feels like they kind of went cold on you or maybe said something really nasty the queen of swords and verse could be very very uh, vindictive i mean there's the energy here of um just someone not being very nice with their words okay now with the queen of swords and verse it also could again just been an argument um it also could have felt like someone was dishonest with you or lied to you about a situation which caused you that three of swords and this could be something your person's gone through or you've gone through maybe you've gone through it together but what really made it painful is that someone here was definitely offering their cup, was offering their love, okay? Now, the current energy is the moon in reverse, two of cups in reverse, and ace of cups. So, let's see. It does look like there's an offer coming into you, uh, for you, Leo. The ace of cups could be a revival or renewal of love. It also could be a brand new person coming in, offering you the love that you've been wanting. Now, the Two of Cups is here in reverse, so there's definitely some kind of ending of a partnership. Maybe someone here that, you know, you felt like you, you ought to be with, you were supposed to be with. Now, with the Moon in reverse, there's something here you may not be seeing that could be coming out. The Moon in reverse could be letting go also of fears, insecurities that you're having regarding the situation. Maybe there's something here that you've been... Um, confused about okay something that may have been hidden from you and you've been in a dark regarding it but the ace of cups i feel like with the moon in reverse is something that's coming out and you may not even see this new beginning this new love offer coming in okay so this could be with a pisces cancer scorpio seven of cups queen of cups and the knight of swords in reverse so yeah remember how i said confusion yeah you may be very confused because the seven of cups is speaking about you know you may be feeling very emotional right now leo there could be a lot of feelings that you have um or even emotions regarding this situation but you just don't know what to do with it now with the queen of cups here could be again water sign cancer pisces scorpio uh, i feel like there's someone you still have love for but you may be very confused about how they feel for you um they may be very confused at how you feel for them as well because the thing is you guys are still not really communicating i feel like there's someone here that is holding back some kind of information from you we're going to find out what that's all about in the environment what you need to know is the page of pentacles page of swords three of pentacles and a ten of wand so you do got a few pages coming out okay so this is telling me that there's a very immature energy leo um that you're dealing with maybe someone here who's afraid to take that step to put themselves out there there could be fear i also feel like this is someone that's trying to find out more information 
Page of Swords has a tendency to be that investigator, that spy, someone who's lurking. Page of Swords is also telling me that, Leo, someone is kind of watching the situation, okay? I do feel like there's an offer here on the table with the Page of Pentacles. Someone here may want to extend an offer or invest in some way. The Page of Pentacles is like... Uh, contributing something here so I feel like someone is watching the situation very closely to find out when is the right time to contribute or reach out I feel like there's new people you're connecting with for sure this could be Gemini Libra Aquarius Taurus Virgo Capricorn we also have Leo Sag Aries some of you may be finding it quite difficult to move on from a situation maybe if there is a new love being offered to you um you know Leo there, there's something here maybe about the past that could be burdening you the ten of wands it could be emotional baggage of some sort maybe there's something here that closed out the wrong way or came to an end and you weren't expecting it to um and with this ace of cups it's like whoa now a new beginning's coming in with the three of pentacles Leo there is someone that you're going to be connecting with and really trying to you know, really see where you guys get along, you know, what are your your similarities, your interests, your values, your beliefs, because there is an energy of like collaborating, coming together. This could be someone that you meet at work. It could also be like a friendship that may lead to more, okay, like more of like a romantic connection. As far as the outcome, we have the Magician in Reverse. King of Wands in a verse in the Five of Cups. I really feel like there's an opportunity to manifest what you want, Leo. But a lot of you guys, you're so fixated and focused on what you don't have. Something from the past that you may have lost. There are regrets. There's remorse. There's disappointment about how something played out. And with the Five of Cups, it feels like you haven't gotten over something here. So, Leo, there could be something that happened in the past. I'm really pointing to that Three of Swords because I feel like that is something here that didn't go the way you wanted it. And it feels like maybe there's something that... You haven't entirely let go, and that could be getting in the way of you manifesting the love that you want, Leo, right? The magician of Earth. You want to experience this beautiful, powerful love, and it feels like with the magician of Earth, you're so fixated on what you don't have that you're not giving it an opportunity to come in, okay? So the king of wands in verse, I feel like you guys are putting hold on new offers coming in, okay? So let's see what else we can find out. Eight of swords, five of swords is here. Ooh, Queen of Cups definitely is a water sign here. There's definitely someone here that you love, you care for. I even feel like you really, um, you guys definitely may have had a really strong emotional connection at one point. But I also see some arguing. Maybe there was an argument or a fight regarding a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, okay? But it does look like there's also a need for you guys to like part ways and maybe even emotionally cut ties with the Six of Swords. Like in order to make peace with the situation, you're having to emotionally um, cut ties and, and let it go. Something here that brought forth a lot of conflict within you especially on an emotional um level okay let's see give me the recent past the chariot the page of pentacles so in the past it feels like there was definitely a love offer here that you felt was going to really be victorious be successful there was something here you wanted to achieve with regard to this connection it was like you were so sure that it was going to work out and with the page of pentacles i'm even getting that someone may have not just been offering enough king of swords gemini libra aquarius and the page of cups in a verse I definitely feel like there could be a third party here, but for the majority of you guys, it feels like you guys just were not on the same page with regard to communication. Maybe something was not communicated to you. I'm also seeing the page of cups in verse. So someone here may have been holding back a love offer or just not in a position to offer love. If, if this is not you with the three of swords, Leo, you could have been dealing with someone that was still going through the emotional pain or or still healing from a past situation from maybe an ex or past lover there's some kind of uh healing here that had to take place so some kind of trauma someone may have experienced that put them in a position where they they may have turned their back on you okay they weren't available emotionally okay whereas the other person was give me the moon in a verse the star, yeah, there's healing that has to take place. Two of swords. I feel like, Leo, there is a decision you're having to make. With the two of swords, it could be cutting out something here um, for the greater good. Okay, the two of swords, it could be literally maybe even two people you're having to choose between. And with the two of swords, you know, you're blinded. You may not see all the facts. You may not know exactly what you're getting. But the ace of cups is here. So I feel like one path is going to give you this new beginning. And the other path may kind of delay that. I feel like there's, there has been a falling out with someone that you actually actually 
you you're more invested still in that connection maybe emotionally because the two of cups and the ace of cups is here so there's definitely a love offer being extended to you but the moon and the seven of cups i feel like a lot of you leo you don't really know what you want or you don't really know what's best for you okay so this could be an Aquarius. Give me the Seven of Cups. You have options, though, for sure. Five of Pentacles, one option is definitely someone maybe from your past who wants to get out of the cult with you, who feels abandoned by you or neglected. And Six of Wands in verse. But Spirit is saying that's not going to be victorious. So I think that part of what I'm seeing here is that you have two people. You may have, you know, two options. One from the past, a new offer could be coming in with a new person. However, I feel like, Leo, you're going to be more inclined to move to the past person because there's an element of comfort there's that emotional connection you still have to this person even though deep down you know that that's not right for you even though deep down you know that that would be a waste of time and with the six of wands in verse it won't work out so i feel like a lot of you guys you may disconnect from someone here that could be offering you love page of swords because this person wants to get to know you I feel like the Knight of Swords in verse is that someone here that you're not communicating with, but it feels like you haven't really given them a chance. So the Page of Swords could be you having to uncover more about this person, maybe take the time to ask more questions to find out, you know, if this is someone you can connect with on an emotional level. But the Queen of Cups here, I almost feel like this is you, Leo. You're very emotional about someone else. There's someone here you're still in love with, despite something not working out. So with the Page of Pentacles, give me the energy here. I'm getting two people, Page of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Seven of Pentacles, there's something about you really having to figure out what's worth your time, your energy, your effort. Because the Seven of Pentacles, ultimately, you're thinking about your future. What does your future look like? Where is it going to go? Who are you going to settle down with? All these things are thoughts in your head. Now, with the Strength in the Verse, Leo, there is someone you're having to give up on. Because there's something here with the Strength in Verse. It's like you've been through many challenges with this person. There's been a lot of struggles. And it feels like you, you should have gave up on that situation a long time ago. Page of Swords, I feel like this is that other person. Seven of Cups. You have other options for sure. So, Leo, it comes down to choosing the best option, right? And I think the biggest thing is really, really trying to figure out where you stand with regard to compatibility, you know, values, beliefs, um, expectations, desires. Because I do feel like the, the confusion is you not knowing what's best for you, okay? Because the Seven of Cups keeps coming out and it's speaking about illusions, confusions, right? Being misled, not seeing maybe the truth. <laughs> um, so yeah, I do feel like the Ten of Wands is speaking about you feeling burdened. It's a lot in making a decision eight of cups in verse yeah because there's someone here you want to go back to eight of cups in verse typically is either someone who may have walked away from you they want to come back or you walked away from them and you're wanting to come back someone is wanting to return your life and that idea of someone returning it's creating some kind of conflict within you five of wands and also creating burdens blockages um roadblocks from you being able to move forward so i think the message here is that leo there's something that you really want you're manifesting but it feels like there's a blockage here and it's really because you you're holding on to something from the past the five of cups there is someone here that you still care about on an emotional level um king of wands is here what's this about it's you the hangman so there's the outcome is the hangman you kind of like taking a moment to really think about something here and it could be looking at a situation from a different perspective right mind you the two swords in a current energy you're blinded so you may not see everything clearly you may not you may not be able to really um, make the best decision for yourself. So coming in the outcome, we have the hangman because it's going to give you the opportunity to slow down and really put things into a different perspective, look at things from a different point of view, and see things differently to get a fresh outlook. So, um, you know, the magician reverse, it's coming out in reverse because there's something here that is not really taking off just yet because you're having to think about it, the hangman. The full in reverse before you move forward, before you embark on this new beginning, before you take action on a new relationship or even go back to the past. Really think about this because everything, it, it can change your life, right? For, for the better or the good. So, and for the worse, for the good or the bad. <laughs> Basically, the hangman in the full card, um, it could be a Pisces or an Aries here. It feels like there's something here that is... um. I wouldn't say stuck, but I feel like it's in suspension, okay? You're in suspension, Leo, because before you take that leap of faith, before you jump into the unknown, that's what the full card is about. Really think about this, okay? Really think about what kind of love you want, what kind of love that you are um, putting out there to receive, okay? So 
Leo, that's what I'm seeing. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. You guys enjoy your weekend. Take care.